Mistlands update has reached the public test branch today and in this video I'm going to be going over all of the new armor and weapons that the Mistlands has to offer. Again, I'll be showcasing them in the biome so that in the meadows biome so that you guys don't have to have all the spoilers of being in the Mistlands biome yet if you'd like to still explore that biome for yourself. Um, and then be sure to check out my last video where I showcased all of the Mistlands building pieces that we have. So without further ado, there are many spoilers ahead, so watch at your own risk. And I will get into showcasing all of the new weapons and armor that we have in the game. So starting off, I am wearing some armor. Um, this armor is absolutely beefy and very Viking. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So this armor is basically the carapace armor. Um, so we have carapace helmet, greaves, and the leggings. Um, and then to equip over that, we have the feather cape. And as you guys guessed it, it does have a bonus of uh, basically limiting the fall speed to only 5 meters per second. And it is re resistant versus frost, so you can still wear this in the mountains and anywhere else. So that is a awesome cape. It's actually one of the first capes that we get uh, that has its own kind of modifier. All the other capes were just kind of protection. So yes, this does have the same armor and also has a modifier along with being frost resistant like the other capes. So that's pretty cool. All right, so then moving on to the next set of armor. Let me equip that here really quick. This is the Eater Weave uh, armor. So I, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I feel like I'm not, but guys correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Look at that. Oh my gosh. You guys, the, the devs did such an amazing job on this game. This is going to be my new favorite set of armor. I am extremely pleased with it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, that is that is that set of armor showcase. Now let's get into doing some weapons. This uh, set of armor as well. Let's see what types of uh, sort of modifiers or other things it has. So it has E to regen. So I'm not sure exactly what that's going to be. But that's a pretty cool, you know, there's there's a lot of things still left to explore. But that's a buff uh, for the trousers anyway. And for the robe, we have Eiter Eater Regen as well. And the helmet is just the, well, also Regen. So that's interesting. So Eiter is going to be like some sort of power or, or something like that that we can be using in the Mistlands biome. Uh, maybe it will be harnessable by this thing. Check out this. This is the first thing on our list here. This right here is the Himen Awful. Uh, so this is this is pretty cool. It does pierce. It does lightning. Crazy amount of use stamina, but it's a pretty dang cool weapon. Um, so I really cannot wait to use this thing on something. Um, but again, I'll, I'll showcase mob battles or other things later on, and I may actually leave mobs and dungeons and everything else for you guys to explore, because personally, I don't know if I want to give that away for myself just yet. So again, that's why I'm showcasing everything in the Meadows biome, so that I can leave the Mistlands environment, because this stuff is going to look ten times better in the proper lighting with the Mistlands environment. Um, so yeah, that's it already looks amazing. Moving on to number two on our list, this bad-ass battle axe looking thing. So this is the Jotunbane. Pretty cool. 80 slash and 40 poison is what this thing does. And then number three on our list is these amazing two-handed longsword here. This is the Krom. And 150 slash. Again, 20 use stamina, but that's insane. Insane. And this is only level 1, you guys. So, I'll let you guys try to think what it's going to be at level 4. Alright, now we do have the spline bow right here. Look at that. It glows red, you guys. So, it's the contrast from the Draugr Fang. This is the sickest, literally coolest thing I've ever seen. 
So this is awesome. Um, yeah, again, sit on my back. Such a cool design. And this thing does 72 pierce, five spirit damage. And again, has 14 draw stamina. So two more than the Draugr Fangbow. Then we move on to the Arbalest, I believe is what it's called. This is the crossbow. So you right click to pull it back and it is preloaded. So you guys can be walking around, running, put it on your back, put it back in your hand. And every time, it looks like right now, maybe they'll fix this, but every time you put it from your back or in your inventory into your hand, you have to pull it back. The benefit though is you can be running around and everything and as long as it's in your hand, you can just fire at any given moment and it automatically reloads it. So that's a pretty cool, that's a pretty cool thing. But I think the reload and maybe staying loaded could be a cool thing to add. But either such a cool, such a cool weapon. So that basically does, let's see, that does 200 pierce only at level one, 210 knockback. Oh my goodness. All right. This is, this is absolutely insane. Uh, and then, of course, to go along with the crossbow, we have the iron bolt, we have the carapace bolt, and we have the, the bone bolt, the black metal bolt, and the carapace arrow. So, again, these guys are all of the different bolts that you get with that crossbow. All right, moving on here, we have the uh, wisp light. So this thing, I think, needs to be done in the Mistlands. But as you can see, it kind of flies around and it kind of hovers over you. Wherever I go, it's always hovering over me. So this thing is pretty cool. This little blue orb thing. We can equip it. And then again, if I press 6, it will de-equip it. And it looks like it doesn't even... Maybe it wears out? I don't even think it does. But a bound wisp to guide you through the thickest of mists. So that is basically what that is. That will guide you through the mist. Um, and that looks like that is what the wisp torch is as well from last episode with uh, the building pieces that were released. So yeah, basically it kind of clears the mist uh, for you, which is super, super cool. So that leads us to also believe that wisps could possibly be a new mob in the Mistlands. All right, the seal breaker, object used to break a div or diverger seal. So that's interesting. Uh, it looks like we just kind of have to use the seal breaker on something. We can't actually hold it. We then have the skull in Haiti. Um, this thing does 45 slash 45 pierce. 14 use stamina, but this is a massive two-handed weapon. So, crazy, crazy cool. We've got a massive hook and knife and everything. Let's actually equip the, the little wisp circle. There you go. I don't know if it clears up the storm or not. <laughs> but this is super, super cool. So, that is what it looks like. Massive two-handed weapon. Super cool that they're adding that besides just the Fenris Claw. We then have the Diverger Lantern which you can hold, so holdable lanterns as well, aside from just being mounted on a wall and, and on a stand. So look at that, you guys. That is that is so cool. That's probably another thing that we'll be buying from the trader as it doesn't look like it wears out over time. We also have a mechanical spring that we can craft. So mysterious contraption built by the vergers used to build traps. So again, that's what you'll need to craft before building one of the traps. We also get a black metal pickaxe. So this is what it looks like here. It's actually fairly small, pretty cool. This thing probably does quite a bit. It does just at level one, have a crazy durability of 210, pierce of 49, and of course more use stamina, but it's pretty cool that we get the black metal pickaxe. More things to craft with black metal. We then have the carapace shield to go along with the carapace armor. That is really cool. It's like elvish and stuff. Look at that. Super, super awesome. And that has a, let's see here, 
block armor of 96, block force of 60, and a parry bonus of 1.5. So that's crazy for level 1. Again, this stuff is nothing like we've ever seen before. And then we have the Carapace Buckler, which is block armor of 78, block force of 50, and a parry bonus of 2.5 times. Check that out. Look at how small that is. Such a sick... Oh my gosh. Okay. I am really, really getting stoked. All right. And then, let's see. What do we have next? We have the new sledgehammer, literally called the Demolisher. Blunt of 145. Use stamina of 28. But check this thing out. This looks like that big sledgehammer that was teased in one of the sneak peeks. I think it was that Grimcore did of him standing on top of, the, of a rock holding this thing, looking bigger than himself. This is insane. So look at that golden tree engraved into it. This is nuts. Check out that area of attack. Massive, massive. I wonder if there's a special attack. There is not. So we can block and we can smash. And that's about all we can do. And it's good at that. <laughs> Next, we have the Carapace Spear, 115 Pierce and 16 Use Stamina. That looks really, really cool. That looks awesome. Let me just uh, set the environment to be clear for a second, uh, just so that we can see this a little better. That looks so cool. So yeah, you can stab with it like any other spear and throw it like any other spear so pretty cool that we have that uh next up we have the wooden missile so this thing i wonder what it actually does the wooden missile pierce of 75 knockback of 45 looks like we might be able to like equip this and shoot it out of the crossbow let's actually try that uh Maybe. Looks like maybe that's it. Well, no, actually. Wooden missile. I'm wondering, wondering how we use that. Let me know in the comments below any other public testers. Uh, maybe it's the bow, actually. I wonder. No, I think the bow just has arrows, but... Yep, bow just has arrows, so yeah, there's some way. Oh, it looks like actually these get shot out of that massive crossbow that you can place on the top of the towers. Check out the building episode to see that in action. Um, Or not in action, but it looks like that's what we put these in. So again, we have the black metal missile as well, which is 120 pierce and 60 knockback. So these look like they can be uh, shot out of the massive crossbow from the previous video. All right, moving on, Staff of Protection. We have the e tear use on this one, which is pretty cool. Uh, again, that's a new type of magic that we'll have to harness in the Mistlands. A magical shield that absorbs damage. So, pretty cool. Ether required. So, we do have to have e tier uh, or eye tier to use this. So, it's not even usable. As I said, there's, there, there's special magic we'll have to harness. We then have the pile bomb. Um, this is interesting. We throw it, and it blows up with some fire. Pretty cool. Another one. <laughs> That's gonna be kind of fun, actually. Look at that. We have our first kind of rendition of, like, fire, actually, on grass. Such amazing graphics. Well done to the Iron Gate team. Alright, now we have a few more goodies in this black metal chest here to showcase. First of all, the Dead Razor. Sacrifice a bit of blood to raise the dead. Upgrade the skull to spawn multiple skeletons and increase your blood magic to make them stronger. So this is <laughs> pretty insane. That's what it looks like. Purple glowing skull that you hold in your hand. And again, requires the A tier. All right, now we have the Staff of Embers. Uh, that is what this thing... Lo uh, let's read it first. The sweltering heat of Muselheim seems almost pathetic when compared to what this staff can do. So, Blunt of 120, Fire of 120, 
And of course it uses the E tier as well. So again, that new power, but that's what it looks like. Absolutely insane. And then last on the staffs list, we have Staff of Frost. A staff as cold as the three year winter that will herald the end of times. Frost of 30. So this will be interesting. Again, uses the A tier, but that is so cool. Look at that wrapped blue frost crystal. Such an amazing thing. All right, and last on the list is the, uh, let's see, let's hover over it. The Mistwalker. Super cool. One-handed sword. The faint glow seems to slice through the mist. Slash of 75 and frost of 40. Really, really, really cool. So this is that sword has that beautiful like rainbow Damascus look to it as well as that glow. So that is super, super cool. If I set the time tonight as well, check that out. Check that out, you guys. Oh my goodness. All right. That's it for my massive spoilers video on all of the weapons and armor that we can craft. Um, as you can see, we also have that feather fall bonus. Um, so, again, slightly slower falling. Such a cool vibe, though. Just imagine all this being used in the actual Mistlands. So with that said, get out there and play Mistlands for yourself when it's released. I am so excited to do so for myself as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video to kind of know what to expect weapon-wise. Um, and again, let me know in the comments if you'd like anything else showcased. And I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.